So just downloaded the Windows 10 Pro operating system ISO in the previous video, let's install it to a virtual machine. On my computer I have Oracle VirtualBox which you can download by simply looking on the Google. There's also going to be a video about this on my channel. So once you have it installed and up and running, let's start installation of the Windows 10 operating system. Once you open up the program, click new and type in Windows 10 Pro. Good thing about this virtual machine is as you type in, let, let me type in whatever, if I type in Mac or Linux, you'll see that it automatically selects the type and the version, which is actually really good. So I type in Windows 10 Pro and now all that is left for me is, as you can see, type already selected version. All I need to do is look for well, sadly, the version that I'm looking for is Windows 10 64-bit, but it's not on the list. It's not present. And the reason for that is because I don't have virtualization turned on in my BIOS. So let me restart my computer and hop into BIOS and activate virtualization. So here I am at my computer. I'm going to restart it and let's get into BIOS. When your computer is restarting, you should pay close attention to the screen. Usually there's going to be some instruction that will tell you how to get into BIOS. It's either by pressing F2, delete, maybe F8 key on your keyboard. For me, it was delete. When I entered my BIOS, it was in the basic mode. So I first had to switch my BIOS to advanced mode, then look for CPU settings. For me, it says CPU configuration. And then if I scroll down, you can see right here, it says Intel virtualization technology. So all I have to do is turn it from disabled to enabled. Now have in mind that it's going to be different for everybody's computer. Maybe you don't have the same computer I have, maybe you don't have the same motherboard. So my recommendation to you is simply look for the name of your motherboard and then how to turn on virtualization for that particular motherboard. Also, you can look for BIOS version that you have installed and then how to turn the virtualization in that particular BIOS. I have ASUS something something BIOS, so that helped me a lot to find where these settings are located, but if you do look through your BIOS, it shouldn't be that hard to locate it. After I'm done with turning on the virtualization, I simply exit the BIOS and I save the settings upon exiting, of course. After I do that, the computer is going to boot up normally, but this time virtualization is turned on. So there we go. Now that we have enabled, now that we have enabled virtualization in BIOS, for the most part, usually that's all you have to do. Some systems, some hardware requires you to install Hyper-V. So it could be different for your computer, for your system that you have. So to correctly install virtualization on your system and also enable it, you should look online for the system that you have and how to enable it. For me, all I had to do is open up BIOS and enable virtualization in the BIOS. For you, you might also have to install Hyper-V on your computer or just enable it by going to Windows Features and you look for Hyper-V on the list. For me, it, it's not there because I don't have to enable it or install it in here, but you might have to do that. So make sure you check if you need to do that. If we go back to VirtualBox and we click New and I type in Windows 10 Pro, You'll see now I have 64-bit version available for me. If you also have this, that means you did everything correct and you can now proceed with the installation. So select Windows 10 64-bit, click Next. Now you want to give it some memory, some RAM to use when you start up your system. 2048 megabytes means basically 2 gigabytes and you see that's the recommended. I'm actually going to bump it up a little bit to 4096 which is 4 gigabytes. You'll notice as you move this slider at certain points it's just sort of going to stick itself or snap to something. It simply snaps me automatically to 4096 which is 4 gigabytes of RAM. I'm gonna click next here. In this particular option we need to create a virtual disk. So that's the option I'm going to choose and I'm going to click create. It tells me what the recommended size is. I'm gonna select VDI, click next and I'm going to give it a fixed size. You have the explanations here, it should be self-explanatory. Fixed size means I'm just gonna give it a size and it's not gonna change at all. I'm okay with that. So over here we have 32 gigabytes that's automatically selected. I'm just going to bump it up a little bit, 40 gigabytes, just like that. And I'm going to click create. Also, one thing I forgot to say is 
Over here you can type the name and also if you click this button you can select a folder where you want your virtual hard drive to be located in. Since I wanted the default place, I didn't change anything. Now that the virtual hard drive has been created and also our operating system has been created and it's put on the list, click on it, click on settings, go to storage and find empty. This is where we want to click and then click this button and then choose virtual optical disk file. This is where we need to find our Windows 10 ISO that we previously downloaded and click open. After that we click OK and we are free to start our system. Now you'll notice that automatically the installation is going to start as what we previously did is we basically injected the image or the disk. So anyhow, everything is a little bit familiar. We just click next and we are basically installing the operating system. So click install now. This window asks us to put in the product key since I don't have it or I don't want to put it in here right now. I'm going to click I don't have a product key. Next we need to choose the operating system version since remember we want Windows 10 Pro version. That's what we select. In case you're wondering what N stands for, that's basically for, to my knowledge, for Europe. It also does not include some programs like Windows Media Player or some or Skype or some programs like that. Basically doesn't include some media programs. Anyhow, I'm just going to include Windows 10 Pro since that's sort of a default. And then click Next. Accept the license term agreements. And then we want to click on Custom, Install Windows Only, Advanced. This is where we create our partitions. You'll see you have Drive, Zero, Unallocated Space. We have 40 gigabytes. Because remember, when I was creating a virtual hard disk, that's what I put in. So we're going to select the unallocated space and we click new and then we make sure that full size is put in which is 40 gigabytes which is what this is you can click the arrow that points up until it the numbers start stop changing so i'm going to click apply and it's going to say to ensure that all windows features work windows might create additional partitions okay and there we go it just created one small partition and then here is our main partition and we want to click on it and click next that's about it. Now the Windows is basically get being installed, as you can see, and it's basically all up to you to just wait until it finishes. Here's a little information from the past. Back in the day when we were installing Windows XP or Windows 7, we used to create two partitions, basically local hard drive C and local hard drive D. Th the reason we did that is because on one partition, the main partition, you install the operating system and on the second partition, you install all of your programs, you put all of your files, pictures, music, videos, whatever you had, you put it on the second partition. Why did we do that? The reason we did this is because you could easily reinstall your operating system without losing your files because remember, your operating system is on the first partition partition. So all you have to do is reinstall your operating system on the first partition while the second partition would stay safe. That's where your files are and again they would stay safe and they would not get deleted. This was very useful because after you use your computer for about one year, two years, slowly you start to accumulate files and slowly your computer starts to slow down. Every time you install a program and then you remove it, you install another program, then you remove that program, all of those programs that were removed, they still leave a little bit of themselves on your computer, just a tiny trace and that slowly accumulates. So you would have to every now and then reinstall your operating system to have the fresh operating system that works as intended out of the box. Basically, you restart, you start clean, but nowadays Windows 10 has the option to automatically refresh itself so you don't have to create additional partitions anymore. Consider yourself lucky and I honestly think this is an improvement. Not only did you reinstall your operating system, but most of the times you had to reinstall all of the programs because they wouldn't work once you reinstall the operating system. Anyhow, luckily and hopefully that's all solved today. After the installation is finished, the computer will restart a couple of times, or the virtual machine in this case. Don't touch anything, but eventually you'll get to this part. So pretty self-explanatory, select your region, I'm gonna click yes here. I am totally from over there. I mean, it's up to you to select whatever region you desire. Next you select your keyboard layout, again click yes. You want to add a second keyboard layout, in this case I'm gonna click skip. 
I mean, so far this thing is doing a good job explaining everything for you. <laughs> Look, it's checking something just a moment. Da, da, da. Okay, so we come to this screen. How would you like to set this up? It's asking you to set up a an account. So I'm going to set up one for a personal use, which is what I'm intending to do with this operating system. Use it personally. Again, just a moment. And you can now sign in. I'm actually going to click offline account right here because I don't want to log into all, any of these. If you select offline account, that's your regular user account. So now it's trying to blame you, ah, oh, you're not going to sign in online, or, uh, just click limited experience. There's nothing limited there, you're not missing out on anything. So there you go, now it's asking you to create your, your account, you can name it whatever you want. But look at this, they're constantly trying to shame you, or even better, use an online account. There's nothing better about it, just type in whatever you want. In this case, I'm going to type in priest and hit next. Now it's asking you to put in the password, I'm not going to use the password, I'll just click next. What a shit show of shaming, huh? Well, excuse my French, but this is what's going on here. Just don't fall for it, you just gotta see through it, it's very easy. Now we're going to choose the privacy settings. If you are like a normal human being, you want to keep your privacy. So I'm going to turn most, if not all of these. So they want a bunch of stuff. I, I just turn all of them off and see they're trying to again shame you. So you won't be able, you'll be able to do whatever you want. Relax. Humankind, <laughs> humankind survived with all, without all of this. You'll be fine. Except. Now again, look at this. They, they just want everything from you. Look at this. Da, 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 da. Even when you switch devices, send Microsoft your activity history. No, we don't want to do any of that. Let Cortana help you get things done. Not now. See, they're just keep they they they're just like the that annoying salesperson who keeps calling you back. Hey, you want to do this? No, how about again? How about it? No, man. There we go. Once you finish all of that, it's gonna say hi. And sorry for this little rant, but I think you can see how obnoxious this can be. Anyhow, we're getting everything ready for you, and things might take several minutes. Okay, I wonder what they are setting up. One thing I wanted to take note of, as you've seen right now, the, this operating system can be very obnoxious and annoying. It's like they don't understand that no means no, once and forever. Don't annoy me, and if I want something, I'll come to you. Stop being annoying. I don't want to put you off track, but to me, this seems to be the sort of a theme with everything nowadays. So you can check out my, I know, promotion, prom right here. But let me just say my bit. So check out my channel and see if there's anything else that I can help you with. But one more thing that I'm going to be doing in the future is I'm going to be focusing on... Yeah, I'll leave everything to us. I don't think so. <laughs> but that's what I'll be doing. I won't leave everything to Windows. I'll, I will make a separate series where we're going to dig deep into Windows 10. And we'll see how we can adjust it to fit our needs and also to be compatible with common sense. Basically, Windows nowadays seem to want to take information away from you they want to spy on you they want to listen to you whatever i'm going to take a look at all of those things and i'm going to show you guys how to adjust turn off or turn on whatever feature you want so if that's something you're interested in do check out my channel for that particular series where we're going to be taking our privacy back and also customizing windows 10 to our needs Again, it's up to you whether you want to turn these features on or off. I'm just going to guide you through it and then you can choose whatever you want. Anyhow, there we go. We are done. It just puts us to our instantly desktop. So now it tells you welcome. Okay. That's Windows. That's This is Edge, the browser. We don't need that. And that's about it. Here we go. We have the operating system installed and we are ready. This is it for this particular video. Thank you for watching. Hopefully this helped you out to install the operating system on the virtual machine. I'm going to have a couple of follow-up videos to make the experience on the virtual machine smoother. And I'm going to show you that in upcoming videos. But that's about it. Consider rating, liking, sharing, subscribing to the channel. And that's about it. I'm going to see you guys in future videos. Priest, signing out. Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing Never give up, never slow, till I finally prove it Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving Keep my head up when I act, head up, that's a fact Never looking back, I'ma keep my